after a small snack, we're getting back in the water. Made a brief stop at Kathleen State Park. Part of the uh, Great Lakes Paddling Group? Oh, okay. Yeah, I belong to this club. Okay. I belong to Western Michigan. You know, and, and you get your feather right, whatever feather yeah. you want to do. Yeah, yeah, I did four that. years with both of them. Cool. Yeah, so yeah, just I'm pretty much after I started paddling. Yeah, yeah that's what I do. Find cool yeah, places to paddle. Yeah. 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 I just joined the group this year. Oh, welcome. Yeah, so I brought three new members into the group this year. All people that just took up paddling. Oh, okay. It's just pretty exciting. I uh, haven't seen one of them. He's got to sit on top. He's going to wait for the The other two have been out in the well, Nobody's got wet yet. Well, that's the one we're starting to do. I can't wait to get out of mine. Maybe it's not fit right. <laughs> yeah, it is a per. It's yeah. I just I don't know. Mine's a three two, like most cabins. Mine's only a wetsuit when I fall in. <laughs> <laughs> The dry suit, uh, the other dry time, suit, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do have a dry suit too. This weekend is the first weekend I didn't use it. Because I love just unzipping and you're in your nice cozy wool capelline underlayer and you put a whole pair of jeans over it. You're, you're, you know, you're done. Car, you're done. You're in the car. And when it's like 27 degrees air temperature, that's really nice. Can we bog? Are we going to bog? Alright, get on. Bog on. Get our bog on. By the way, my name is Deborah. I should have. Hi, Deborah. I'm Bob. I was just just about to introduce myself. Oh, I know. It's, it's, I'm a friendly person. I forget the uh, my, my apologies for waiting so long. It's fine. all good. A lot of times I'll go orange capella. I'm like, oh, no. Right. Red and white current design. Yep. <laughs> and my, but my other boat is also a sea kayak, a red over white fiberglass uh, North Shore Shoreline Fuego. And her name is Hot Sauce. The name is up there. Yeah. So okay. uh, the Western Michigan coastal, a lot of people call me Hot Sauce after that boat. True. So if you're in the Western Michigan group, where do you live then? I live near Ann Arbor. Oh, okay. <laughs> but um, I go out for several of their events a year. And uh, I'm going to the Wimpa Symposium Memorial Day weekend. It'll be my fourth time there. And I learn a lot and have fun. And I get involved with some Lake Michigan paddles, uh, Crystal Lake, uh, some rivers with them, the Manistee, Odin Pile Dam, up and down Lake Michigan. Yeah, you know, I love Lake Michigan. It's so it's, pretty. It, it's a chance to get out on Lake Michigan. From, you know, it's really yeah. cool because there's... There, not all of their membership is on the West Coast, but you know, they're actually got 20 or 30 members out this way. Hmm. And I, I must know about 10 of them, so they are members in the Upper Peninsula. Yeah. It's kind of funny how all the groups sort of intertwine, you know, with yeah. common members. Yeah, because they're also, you know, different Yahoo groups. I don't always paddle with them, but at least I can tell them what's going on. I like paddling by myself. I probably use 75 percent of my paddles by myself. Yeah, I'm probably the same way. <laughs> but this year, because I have two friends who are new, I, I, I want to include them when it's, you know, good comfortable. Well, when you paddle by yourself, you choose when you go and where you go. And <laughs> yeah, sometimes I like to 
stop and catch and stuff. Maybe that would not be something that would be so. Or stop and swim. Yeah, I like that. Then I see what, what it is over here. Right, yeah. Well, my friend Jerry, who's in that uh, skin kayak, he lives on Portage Lake, so he's kind of yeah, he's kind of got his own little group going. So I've been paddling with them, and that started. Good to have a choice. Sometimes you get a lot. Sometimes you just want the peace and solitude, kind of your own boat and your own thoughts. Yeah. And they're both good. The most, uh, what should I say, the most serene experience I had was last fall. Well, it was kind of cold. I think it was actually November we, we did a, a panel, or late October. But it was foggy in the morning, so I had to cross the lake to get to Jerry's house. Yeah. So I went into the fog. And that was the weirdest experience because there were some swans in there and it was a blue sky, but you couldn't see anything. It was almost like you were flying because it was blue below and blue above. It's hard to describe the feeling of that. That's not something you could, you know, pick to do or, you know. No, the weather gives you what she gives you, just like the water does. You really learn a lot of humility with a small human powered craft. It's what the lake was, but the river was. It wasn't just When you see so much more in a kayak, you know, oh, yeah. pe people are missing it when they're in their power boat, you know. Or even if they're just hiking, well, hiking and biking along trails are good, but you see so, so much more along the water shore. So I love seeing the fish and the big turtles when you're kayaking. I love turtles. Deer, beaver, mussel. Yeah. I always just saw wild meat at the Indian Lake and at the Peninsula. I was paddling on my own. And had I been with a group, I'd never would have seen the nicer with the wind, isn't it? Yeah, well, I think the wind died down, too.